Hey guys, I'm coming with a video today on how to set up the Dark Comet or Dark Comet Rat. It is a very, very, very useful remote administration tool. This will require internet access and an email of your own and the trust for a fellow YouTuber. I have done hacking videos before and I've actually done this exact video before, but I ended up removing it because I just really felt like hacking and YouTube tutorials wasn't necessarily my place, but now I'm going to try to do a few more of these videos because I seem to be getting quite a, form, quite a few more views on YouTube. But as you can see, I already have my dark comic completely set up, but I'm going to reset it up for you guys and to help you out with everything. By the way, if you guys are planning on dosing me or anything during this video, or you're planning on getting my IP address, ho ho ho, I'm gonna screw with them. No, you can't do that. I am completely VPN'd actually. My VPN is actually a placement on my router that I bought myself. I'm only 13, but I invested in a VPN because I felt by playing League Play in such games and such matches on Xbox, there would be people that just say, hey, I don't want to lose. I'm gonna boot the other team off. Team off. Um, so basically what I did is I went in, I got a VPN, VPN my router, and now I am completely ghost. So, moving along, um, first what you're going to do is you're going to open up your preferred web browser and go to noip.com. There will not be any links in the description other than the one to download Dark Comet itself, and, um, you're just going to sign in. Uh, sign in with whatever you want to sign in to I'm not going to tell you passwords but all you gotta do just sign in and you'll see all this bullshit go to add a host um, you can name your host name whatever you want and I'm just gonna name it for the purpose of this video tutorial tutorial now over here you can really make it whatever you want but mine fucking hated me so um mine ended up working when I tried zap2.org and leave everything else normal click add host uh, well never mind just uh name whatever the fuck you want go to add host doesn't really matter but your name exceeds character limit you know what I'm a pause video I'm gonna create one you get the point you know what to do I'll be right back alright now I think think. Yep, there we go. Purple Penis Pancakes and Zapido.org. We are completely good on this bullshit. That's my original one. Uh, yes, Danny was with me when I made that, because I made it for a computer that I actually let her loan, but, yes. Go ahead and copy your URL or your DNS, whatever you want to call it. Uh, copy that and just kind of leave that copied for a bit. Now what you're going to do is over here you're going to click download client and it'll take you to a download page and just click download now I already have it and once you've downloaded it locate the file and open it and it'll be like darkcom at duc but um, you won't be logged in you will have to log in whenever you get um, the chance and it'll actually prompt you with this page and just log in with your normal noip.com sign in and once you get on as long if there's no checks by these two um, you will have to work with that. Click Edit Hosts over here. Click on whichever one you're using. I'm going to unclick this. Show only selected hosts. If you want to do that, you can. But I'm going to be using this for the sake of this video. Press Save. Click Refresh now just for safety issues. And uh, just minimize that. We don't need that right now. Now you're going to go to your router homepage. I already know my router login and everything because I actually made it myself. But I'm going to pause the video real quick because I actually just got that text and I'm going to check that because I really don't want to extend this video too much longer so I will be right back alright clearly I just get a text and I had to pause the video this is right where we left off now you're going to go over to wherever your port forwarding or network settings it would normally be under like gaming and something or gaming control or something or advanced mine's under advanced you're going to go over here to port forwarding once under port forwarding you're going to just port forward the 1604 port, which would be description, make that dark comet, local IP. I'm going to show you how to find your local IP. You're going to open up command prompt real quick, and you're going to type in IP config. 
and it'll pop up a bunch of stuff like this and you're just gonna see your IPv4 subnet mask and default gateway and your IPv6 which is all those except for your IPv4 are fucking useless where it says 192, 168 or whatever yours will be different than mine and for those of you on Xbox that say hey I'm gonna boot you offline and someone t says hey I have your IP address or something and um if you go and you're like, oh, no, you don't, and you go to your Xbox and you say, hey, what's my IP? And they read you out a number, and it's not this number. This number, you can boot this offline as much as you want, and you will not boot a soul in the Internet offline because this is nothing more than an IPv4 address. Cannot be booted offline, cannot be DOSed. I mean, you can dox it all you fucking want, but it's going to do not shit. But moving along, so... um just put 1604, 1604 is a public and local port, you might have to put a UDP and TCP ports, just depends on what router brand you have, normally the password will be password, password, admin, admin, whatever, but um, just click add, I already have mine port for it as you can see down here, and what you can do is mine really never did work with this, but you can go to something called canyouseeme.com, I'm not going to have a link to this, but well, it's actually fucking dot .org, I always have this issue but you get my point you're going to just be taken right at, right here and you can read all the stuff if you want to learn anything and press check port and mine does this all the time but mainly it's because you have to have dark comet opened once dark comet is completely open you can see that and have the socket and whatnot, scanning and listening to the port 1604, and it should then. Oh, God damn it! Okay, go to 1604 then, and there you go. You should be able to see the port. It should see your service and whatnot, and that will tell you that the port is successfully port forwarded. And if it didn't do that, then you fucked up somewhere. No offense, but you fucked up. All right, let's go ahead and let's just uh, uninstall this server. Well, not fucking uninstall it. Close it. Let's just close the server. All right. You're going to go to server module, full editor, expert. Once you're here, you're going to see all this bullshit. None of this bullshit matters. All right, all right. Click random a bunch of times. You can sit there and click it all day. It doesn't really fucking matter. Right down here, if you're going to use cryptors or anything, use this. If you're going to um, do anything like that, just use that. Uh, network settings, this is where your IP no IP stuff comes in where it says IP DNS that's where you're going to paste your um, what you may call it your DNS that you made on no IP and mine was purple penis pancakes you're gonna click that and that shows a little green arrow that is apparently very good um, you will need to put, click start the stub with Windows basically if you don't click that that means they turn off their computer and turn it back on they will no longer be infected by your remote administration tool you're gonna click app you can either click app or you can click temp. Don't recommend anything that's very easy to find like desktop or start or whatever. Because if you put it in the start, it'll just bam, it's right there. But you can put it in hidden and hidden. I would recommend that completely. And the persistent installation, that would be very useful for someone that's really, really wanting to fuck with somebody. And melt fire file after execution basically means it'll start whenever their computer starts, but they won't be able to find the file unless they dead out search for it. So you're really gonna have to tell them where it is to, for them to find it. Here's where whatever whenever they launch it, it will disable all this shit. What you're gonna need to do is um click those, that, and that. Click all of those. Do not disable task manager or registry because that basically gives it away. Hey, you're infected. You have a virus. You need to probably have your computer checked out. Um, you probably need to just not enable any of those because that'll screw someone's computer over. And actually, I know this is pretty bad, but I actually have all of this stuff disabled already. User account control, AV notify, all that stuff. I already have that disabled because, in honesty, I don't need it. I have a computer that's well stood enough to detect viruses upon its own with antivirus. And if you want to know the best antivirus you can probably get, and it's my favorite it's advanced system care I only have the free version and I do have an activation key to get the entire version but I just haven't put it in yet so now we have everything done you can screw around with these things down here if you really do know what you're doing I for one do not because I don't work with rats ever to tell you the truth 
You're gonna click build the stub, uh, build it to your desktop. I'm gonna name it uh, and you're gonna press save. And whenever it saves, no, nothing more to be done. There's your little rat thingy. Open it, and it should detect. There you go. And you can basically do whatever the fuck you want, like spy functions, sound capture, remote desktop, like remote desktop, and start capture, and I'll be able to see my own desktop. Let's see, Let's see if I can find my fucking mouse. Uh, somewhere. Well, you get the point. Um, yeah. But it will lag really bad if you try to control your own desktop, so don't. It's not a good idea. So, uh, yeah, that's basically all you need to do. And also, I figured this out about Dark Comet. How much longer do I have? Five minutes, all right. But I figured this out about Dark Comet. Um, I didn't actually know this. If you go down here to refresh info forward slash ping, it will shut the person's fucking internet down. Didn't know that. It shuts their internet down until the d entire Dark Comet server will actually refine their internet and figure out what's happening and it doesn't actually mean to shut it down it's just pinging it so it can get all the info back resolve host i think does the same thing in broadcast commands you do have http flood which means if you're dumb enough to have the damn thing on someone's internet that is connected to like a web server or something that means it will basically fuck the server up um, sin flood, I've never really worked with sin, so let's skip that. Um, UDP flood, basically, just, it stands for itself and knocks people's internet offline. But, yeah, that's how you set up the Dark Comet 536 rat. The new version of the rat is actually not set up a bull, but it does work. So, well... We are completely done here. Um, I think this is pretty much all I really needed to show you guys. If you guys need any more help with this or have any troubles with it, or if I got too fast and you really needed me to go back over some stuff, comment below and I will be sure to let you know what you did or did not do wrong. Tell me everything you did step by step, and if you just followed the video, then you clearly fucked up somewhere or you just messed up on the port forwarding. Download link will be in the description. Just saying, if you did not trust me from the start and are not going to trust me, hey, you have a virus on this download, uh, no, I don't. And if you do not believe me, Dark Comet is a false positive. And if you don't believe me, you go to the Dark Comet website, which is, this is the com official website of Dark Comet. And if I can find it, Dark Comet is very... Okay. Dark Comet Rat is a very advanced remote administration tool. It runs background, has full access on target computer remotely, with blah, blah, blah. It is considered by most antivirus companies to be a Trojan or a backdoor. It therefore is stating it is a false positive. If you have any type of antivirus on your system and you're running Dark Comet, disable that antivirus because it will delete the software entirely. Because Dark Comet will run as a Trojan and a backdoor type virus. Because of the fact that it's, it is a virus. It is. There's really no way to say it. It's a virus. The entire software is a virus. So, yeah. There's really no other way to say it. The, the entire software is a fucking virus. If you want to use a rat and say, hey, this rat's not a virus, you're a fucking liar. The, the, every rat is a virus. It installs viruses to someone's computer. But, I hope you guys liked the video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. If you guys need any help with this, or if you need any assistance with hacking whatsoever, I have been doing this stuff for about five years now. Started Batch at about eight. No, not eight, about six, seven. And programming now, I'm learning Ruby, Perl, and I'm starting on Python a little bit. And uh, yeah, well, I hope you guys liked it. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to all of you later. Next video, by the way, will be my top 10 dub steps. If you want to see a little bit of a preview here, this is the video so far. I'm still editing it, but yeah, hope you guys liked it. See you later.